it going? Happy Thursday. We are back with another live cooking show here on Get Nourished with Renata. And I am so excited because today I'm sharing a super easy and healthy recipe with you that is kind of paying tribute to one of my favorite series on my YouTube channel, which by the way, if you haven't um, subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please go ahead and do that. Just search for Nourish with Renata. And this series is the one called Renata Tries. Now in this series, I try lots of different things, but one of the most popular things that I try is actually cereal. So if you don't know that much about me, I actually didn't grow up in the US. I grew up in Australia and New Zealand, and I always heard about all these different American cereals because basically we watched a lot of TV that came from America or films that came from America. And so there's all these cereals that I had never tried before. So I thought it would be really fun to try those cereals on camera so you could see my reaction. Well, this turned out to be really, really fun to do because everyone had all of these awesome cereals that I should try. But honestly, sometimes when I look at the ingredients or the nutrition label on certain cereals, I'm just shocked at like the amount of sugar there is, the amount of refined carbohydrates in there. So I wanted to make my own version of a very popular cereal and that is Cinnamon Toast Crunch. And what I love about this particular recipe is that it's made using protein powder, there's no refined sugar in there and it tastes delicious because of all the delicious cinnamon and the monk fruit sweetener that we're using. So what's awesome is that this only uses one, two, three, four, five ingredients and you can literally whip it up super quickly. So I'm starting with my bowl right here and we are gonna start off with some protein powder. So I'm using this Arbonne vanilla protein powder and we're gonna need um, two thirds of a cup. So this is a one third cup measure. So I'm gonna need two of these and just put that into your bowl. Um, so you could literally use any kind of protein powder that you like that is vanilla flavored because one of the things with Cinnamon Toast Crunch is that I feel like it's got obviously lots of cinnamon, but it also has some delicious uh, vanilla flavor, which is what gives it that like warm sweetness that I think is why a lot of people love it. So we have that. We're also gonna do um, some tahini. So if you've never used tahini before, it's actually a sesame seed paste. So kind of like if you think about peanut butter being ground up peanuts, tahini is ground up sesame seeds. So we're gonna need a quarter of a cup of that. It's also really liquidy. So that's, that's awesome because it makes it so easy to combine in this bowl with all the other ingredients. But if you didn't have tahini, you could totally use um, peanut butter or almond butter, whatever you may have on hand. It might just taste more like peanut butter or almond butter. Okay, so we have that in there. Next, we're gonna use my favorite sweetener, which is monk fruit sweetener. And like I've said so many times before, monk fruit sweetener is my favorite because it doesn't um, adversely affect your blood sugar levels. So that's what's really important to me because when my blood sugar because I've had too much sugar and then my insulin boosts up in order to correct it. I feel so bad. I have that sugar crash as a lot of people call it. So this is going to be one tablespoon of monk fruit sweetener and we are going to use um, some monk fruit sweetener and cinnamon as a topping on top of the cereal. So I'm going to get a separate bowl and just put another tablespoon of the monk fruit sweetener into this particular bowl and we're going to leave that there on the side and we'll use it a little bit later. Next up, we need some cinnamon. So I have my mega jar of cinnamon. We're gonna add one teaspoon into this contain into this bowl. So one teaspoon of cinnamon right in here. Hey guys, say hi in the comments and let me know who's watching. And then like we have this separate bowl over here, which is of just the monk fruit sweetener as the topping, we're also going to add another teaspoon of cinnamon right into this same bowl. And we're gonna mix this all together so that it can be a yummy cinnamon sugar type topping on top of the cereal before it goes into the oven. So we're just gonna mix that up really quickly. Doesn't take very long at all. So that's our cinnamon. And now we have all of these powdered ingredients in here with the tahini. And the last thing we're gonna add is one egg. So we're gonna crack the egg and we're just gonna pop it in here. And then all we have to do is just mix everything together. And that's literally how easy this recipe is. So I'm just gonna use my little spoon here, hopefully you can see, and just mix everything together. It's gonna to create a really soft dough because we have that tahini, which is gonna be helpful for binding all of the ingredients together, but it's not gonna make it too dry. And then especially with the egg, it's gonna to help to combine everything 
but we don't want it to be too dry so that you can't roll it out, which is how we're gonna get our little squares that you normally recognize from the Cinnamon Toast Crunch cereal box. So we have that going here. We're gonna keep mixing it up, keep mixing it up. And then one of the things I might need to do is just use my hands. So I see that we have a little bit of the dough stuck to my spoon right here. So I'm going to get it off there with my spoon and just form this into a dough. Um, so this is, once again, it's gonna be a really malleable dough, which just means that it's gonna be easy to form into different shapes. So that's gonna be really fun for later on when we roll it out um, onto, our, um, onto our baking tray. So what's really cool about this is I have a little technique here to help you with rolling it out. And I think that what I'm gonna need here, is because this is a little bit dry for me, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit more of this tahini and I'm just gonna add in a bit more. Here we go, just add in a little bit more. It shouldn't need too much because I don't want it to be too wet, but it's definitely a little more dry than I would like. So what we're looking for is kind of like if you imagine a cookie dough batter. Hi, Tori. So we want it to be sticking together pretty well, but not, uh, not like completely wet. Okay, so it's coming together a lot better actually, so that helped a lot. So that's good, yeah, this is looking a lot better. It's sticking together a lot better. And this is really forming a nice dough right now. So looking at this all coming together is a perfect sign that we're ready to move on to our next step. So what I also have done is uh, my oven is set at 400 degrees, so it's preheated right now because that's the temperature that it's gonna take to bake these. And these um, Healthy Cinnamon Toast Crunch cereals are not gonna take a long time to bake at all. So that's gonna make it really helpful because you're gonna have cereal in literally less than 15 minutes of baking time. So that's pretty awesome. Okay, now let's get our cutting board. I'm sorry, <laughs> let's get our baking tray. And what I've put on top of it is my favorite baking mat, this one. And what I'm gonna do first is I'm actually gonna take it off of the tray because I'm gonna use this to help me roll out the dough. So let me just put this tray over here. So we have our mat. Let's make sure you can see it. Can you see it? There you go. So we have my mat right here. I'm gonna put my dough on the mat. Here we go. And try to get all my crumbs in here and squish it all together. This would actually be a really great thing for you to do with your kids. I think that would be so, so fun. The other thing that you could do too, is if you didn't want to use vanilla protein powder, you could totally use chocolate protein powder. That would be delicious. And that would make like a delicious um, chocolate and cinnamon cereal. Oh, that sounds so good. That could almost be dessert. Okay, so we have our, um, bat our dough here on my baking mat. And then all I'm gonna do is grab another baking mat. I have another one right here to put over the top. Now you could do the same thing with parchment paper. I just don't happen to have parchment paper right now. So all I'm gonna do is take this rolling pin and gently roll out the dough. What we're looking for is we want to get the dough to a thickness of about a quarter of an inch to half an inch. And so what you might have to do is you may have to just change the angle of your rolling pin to continue to roll it out. So that's one uh, strategy you can use to help you roll this out. Another thing you can do is you can peel off, and this is what I love about using these baking mats. You can peel off the baking mat, move it to one side, for, for instance, and then use that new added baking mat area to continue to push your dough out so that it's going even further to the left and right of your baking tray. That's just another trick. And that's why I love to use these baking mats because it's so helpful to just pick it up, move it onto one side, and then continue rolling it out. Just like that. So good, so easy. And just keep doing that. This is going to come out to about, once I, uh, I said it before, a quarter of an inch to half an inch thickness. So it's looking pretty good. We need to roll it out just a bit more. And then one of the things to remember too is you wanna make sure it's an even thickness all the way through. So we're going to make sure the middle is not way thicker than the sides. Because sometimes when you roll things out, the sides will get really thin like over here, but the, the center will still be really thick. So that's what I'm trying to work on now. Just 
making sure that I'm starting at the center and then continuing to push it out towards the sides so that the center gets a little bit thinner. There you go. And obviously if you had um, parchment paper, this would be going pretty quickly because you could have one that covered this entire area. And so you'd be able to uh, roll it out really fast. So that's looking really good actually. I think we're just about there. One more roll over here, I think. And then we'll be done. We'll be ready to cut up our little cinnamon toast crunch cereal shapes. Now, this is the really fun part, I think, because you know how cinnamon toast crunch has that square shape? So this is how we're gonna get that shape today. So that is all done right there. Now what I'm gonna do is use my little cutter. Hi Jamie, how's it going? So we are making some healthy cinnamon toast crunch today and I have my batter right here on my little baking mat, uh, which is going to be really helpful because we can transfer this whole thing and put it on top of our baking tray in just a second. But I wanted to show you how we're cutting up the shapes of the cinnamon toast crunch. So I have this little cutter, um, and this is actually something that you normally use for like if you're making pasta, but you don't have to use a fancy instrument. You could totally just use like a butter knife or something like that. Uh, you definitely don't want to cut through your baking mat, so that would be one thing to watch out for. But we are going to use this to basically create lines going down. So I'm going to go from top to bottom, top to bottom, top to bottom, and I'm going to make them about an inch apart. So we're going to keep doing this throughout the whole, making lines that are about an inch apart all the way through the dough. And then once you've done that, going top to bottom, then you're gonna go left to right, and that's gonna create your um, square shapes that you would normally see if you're getting Cinnamon Toast Crunch from the grocery store. But we're making it at home, and it's gonna be healthier, yay! So here we go, we're cutting these delicious squares. This smells so good, you guys. I love the smell of cinnamon, it's so comforting. And honestly, if this breaks, it's not a big deal because you, the dough is so formable, you can just push it back together. So not a big deal at all. So we keep doing this, and you would do it through your whole dough. So I just did half of it here so I can show you really quick. And then really what the next step is, is we're going to take our mixture of our cinnamon and our monk fruit sweetener. So that is just one tablespoon of monk fruit sweetener and one teaspoon of cinnamon. And we're gonna take that, hey Randy, how's it going? We are making some healthy cinnamon toast crunch. I know this is one of the recipes that you asked me about when I first posted it on my Instagram. So uh, we have the dough here, which is basically just five ingredients and we're doing kind of the final step. Oh, yay, thank you. So I'm just gonna top the cereal after we've cut it with our monk fruit sweetener and cinnamon mixture. And you just wanna like uh, drizzle it or really sprinkle on top of the cereal because this is gonna give it that extra boost of delicious cinnamon flavor. I'm so excited about this. Honestly, this is probably gonna be my lunch. <laughs> oh, you guys have been busy today, Randy? Oh my gosh, I've been so busy as well. I feel like I got a ton of stuff to do. And then guys, also we uh, didn't have power yesterday for like eight hours. And so I'm like catching up on all of these things that I couldn't do uh, yesterday when we had no power. So that's basically how you do it. And then all you do next is you transfer this whole thing onto your baking tray and you're gonna bake it for five minutes. So um, I'm gonna continue to keep cutting these, but you bake it for five minutes. And then after those five minutes, you're gonna take the tray out of the oven and you're going to use this again or use another knife to just break up all of your little squares because they're gonna come together a little bit as they bake. Oh wow, Randy, I walked two sets of dogs, did horse chores, rode a horse, showered. Well, I'm just happy that you were able to get a shower in. I feel like a new woman after getting a shower. So, kudos to you. Okay, so we're talking about baking off these delicious Cinnamon Toast Crunch cereals and you put it into the oven at 400 degrees for five minutes. After that five minutes, what you're going to do is use this or use another little butter knife to break up the squares because while they're first baking, they're gonna still be kind of stuck together. Um, so we just wanna break it up before we finish the cooking process. Otherwise, it'll be pretty hard to break them up and you won't get those yummy looking squares. So there you have it. So we've 
done the squares on my second half of the dough and I'm going to sprinkle on more of my yummy topping and honestly if you don't use all of the topping it's not a big deal I feel like it gives it so much flavor if you are able to do that but if you don't you can always use the cinnamon sugar for or I say sugar loosely <laughs> you can use this for you know if you wanted to top your pancakes or your protein pancakes if you wanted to put them in your uh, tea or coffee in the morning that would be delicious um, you could even put this on toast with a little butter. That would be an amazing breakfast. Hey, Sophia, how are you? Okay, so there you go. That's it. And then now we've done this, we're going to put it onto our baking tray. So we just have that. I'm going to transfer it onto my baking tray carefully and hopefully not dropping it. And then I'm going to put it into the oven at 400 degrees for those first five minutes. After I've broken them up with a knife, um, then I'm gonna put them back in the oven for about another five minutes until it's um, completely cooked. So one thing to, to watch out for is just to make sure that the edges don't burn. So when you go in after the first five minutes, you might need to just shuffle things around after you've broken them up into squares. Make sure the outside edges are not burning. Um, and then also on the second five minutes of cooking, just make sure that they don't burn. So keep an eye on it. But honestly, even if it gets a little bit dark brown, it will still taste amazing. And this is what they look like afterwards. Ta-da! So, they, have, they are these little beautiful squares. This one has a lot of cinnamon on it. I don't know if you can really see that. But it's golden brown on the top and the bottom. It's crisp. Mmm! Oh! I love the flavor of cinnamon. It's so good. So, you could have these with milk or a milk substitute of your choice. Store them in an airtight container for about up to two weeks. Um, but honestly, this makes enough for, um, the recipe is probably for about four to six people. And it's just so good. It's so delicious. Honestly, sometimes I just eat it without any milk at all because it's so good. Yum. So that is our healthy cinnamon toast crunch. It's so, so easy. I'll be posting the recipe a little bit later on the blog, so make sure you check it out. And also go ahead and check out the YouTube videos on my Renata Tries cereal series. I'll be having another one coming out very soon. But thanks guys for watching. Hope you're having a great day. And I will see you guys very, very soon. Oh, the only other thing I wanted to mention is that this evening at seven o'clock central time, I am going to be doing, hey Anne, how are you? I am going to be doing a live cooking show with my friend Tina Bangle who is in Australia. So we're going to be doing a global uh, live cooking show with Tina. And I'm, she's actually going to be teaching me how to make some Filipino spring rolls called lumpia. Um, so they are delicious, I love them. And she's gonna tell me all of the secrets to doing it as well as why lumpia, these Filipino spring rolls, are in her newest children's book called My Lola. So I'm so excited to see how to make these spring rolls as well as learn more about her new book. So make sure you check it out at seven o'clock central time on her page called Tina Bangle Vocalist. She's also a singer. I mean, is there anything she can't do? So yeah, make sure you check it out guys. Thanks for tuning in today and I will see you again very soon. Bye.